Hello everyone, so now we will start the Power BI dashboarding part. How to create a proper dashboard in a Power BI desktop that we are going to learn. So we will start with how actually we can set up a proper page for our dashboard. And also we will see how actually we can create a proper title. How actually we can give a proper title in our dashboard that actually we are going to see in this particular video. So I will open my Power BI desktop. I open my Power BI desktop. Now what actually I will do? If I had to set up this proper page in here, right? So what you have to do in right side, you can see, right? We have a one build user there. You all you can see all the visualization. The second option is a format page. If you click here, you can see page information. Everything is coming. So in a Power BI desktop version, uh, there are different uh, version where this option is available in a different places in a latest version you can see in a format page this build visual in the right side you can see this format pages option is available in your version if it is not available then what you have to do you have to right click here in the blank space here right here you have to right click and uh, there you will see a format option once you will click this all the option will be shown but in the latest version what you have to do here only you have to click uh, this format page and you will see this option. Now after that you can see page information. So if you want to give this particular page name, this is the page name, right? So you can give a proper name here. So I will give a global super smart or something like I will just give the global. This is the page name I am giving. After that, what is the size of the particular page? I want a 4 by 3. So you can see this visual got converted into the 4 by 3. Suppose you want uh, in a letter format, so you can see in a letter format also you can build the dashboard or you want to have any custom that also custom you can select. So custom I will give 1300, 1850, 1815 I will give. So you can see 1300 and 1850 this particular visual is created. This page size is set up for the 1300 and 1850 or you want to go with the 69 you can select that. So I am going with the custom 1300 is a uh, height 1850 is a uh, width that is what actually I am selecting. And now once you will set up that uh, you have an option for the background suppose you want to change a background. I want to make the background as a uh, black but once you select the background also right still it is showing a uh, white so how easily we can change that so in a transparency right if you will make this you can see now it is reflecting if it is make if you are making this as a zero then you can see this background got change so that's how actually we can change the background so we have seen like how to set up the page how to set up a, a color and how to set up a page size now if you want to set up any wallpaper so you can browse any image and you can se uh, select the transparency here also filter pane and the filter card this we will understand later but these are the option that will be helpful to set up your page and the settings and all now once you do this right now what actually we'll do we'll try to create one um, header header for our dashboard so what you can do in a home option you can see we have one option for the text box just click on the text box once you will click on the text box right once you will click on the text box right this is, you can see one text box is coming now what we will select we will select uh, one font here so let me select the Arial black or you can select any of the font which you want now after that we can select the font size so I will select the font size as a 36 now I will write a header for my so I am writing global super store this is the header I want to or give you just expand this once you will expand this right you can see that header is coming now from here you can uh, do that now why it is not we are not able to see this is the header which is here we can see right I just so uh, this is what uh, we have created uh, now this actually you can drag here this is the header we have created let's make it in a here so like this actually we can create a title what you have to do you have in a home option you just have to select the text box you have to write a text and this this is the option will be shown 
now my requirement is like I want to change this uh, background this white background actually it is showing right this actually I want to change how actually I can change that so in that case what you have to do you have to select here now once you select you can see one format text box is coming right one format text box is coming in the format text box if you go into the effects one background is coming if you will opt the background right you can see that background got changed into the white only now suppose uh, this is written in a uh, black I will change this into a uh, white how actually I can change that if I'll make this white this got changed into the white or if I'll make this as a this color now I will change this background as a black only how to change this so select this this format text box go to the effects and background if you off you can see this got changed into the black color only but our was better right uh, this uh, white was better so we'll go ahead with this uh, this header only but I was just showing you how actually we can uh, change the change the background for this now let's see how actually we can add a logo in our dashboard so for that what you have to do you have to first uh, have one image so what actually I will do I'll come to the Google I will search for the global superstore something image I will try to download so let me try to download global superstore this is the image I will download I'll do the save image as in a download folder only I will try to save it so one image we have now come to this our desktop if you want to import then what you have to do go into the insert in a insert we have a image option so from that image option you have to select the a particular logo you can see this goes imported now this what you can do this logo you can bring into the top this is the logo so whenever we work for any company right that company will have a specific logo so like that actually you can set up a, a, a logo now what actually you want you want whenever you will click on this image right that image will go into the particular link how actually you can set up suppose if I click on that particular image it should open amazon.com amazon.com then in that case what what actually I can do uh, this particular URL right I'll just click here I'll just uh, click on this image now this I want to make an action in the right side you can see in a format setting we have action just click on the format action on now what type of action you want I want action as a web URL so I'll click on the web URL and this particular link I will give this particular link I will give and I'll just so this is done now whenever I will click here right this will open a amazon.com you can see amazon.com is opening now we have set up a logo and also we have set up a title for our dashboard right but you can see this uh, logo color is in blue and this uh, background is white this is not looking good so what we'll do we'll change the color first I'll change the color of this uh, image uh, not image text so I'll make this text as a uh, this color dark color and what I will do I want to change this white image into a particular background so you have to click here in the effects background right this is the background this visual we can make as a any other color I will make this a blue color now you can see uh, this got converted now let me change this color light so you can see we have a logo and also this particular header also got set up properly so now in next video we'll see how actually we can start building the visualization